experience all the way through Anthony Smith. He is three years the younger, has the heights all over Jardine. Seven inches longer in the arms, three and a half in the legs. Let's go to Mike Kendall. Once again, ladies and gentlemen, it's not time for the main event of the evening. This contest is scheduled for three five-minute rounds in the RFA middleweight division. It is brought to you by Inca Cola, the Golden Cola, refreshment for the world. Look us up on the web and Twitter at Inca Cola USA. That's Inca with a C, Cola with a K, USA. And do not forget to go to winthischopper.com for your chance to win the Inca Cola Charity Chopper, brought to you by Orange County Choppers. Ladies and gentlemen, for all those watching around the world on Access TV and here in Lincoln, Nebraska, are you ready for war? <laughs> Introducing first fighting out of the blue corner, this wrestler stands 5'11", weighing in at 186 pounds, holding a professional mixed martial arts record, 12 wins, 5 losses. Training out of absolute MMA and fighting out of West Jordan, Utah, His opponent across the RFA octagon fighting out of the red corner is a striker, Brazilian Jiu Jitsu style fighter, standing six foot four, weighing in at 186 pounds, holding a professional MMA record, 22 wins and 10 losses. Training out of Team Doyle and fighting out of Omaha, Nebraska, Anthony Lionheart Smith. Your referee charge in action is Jim Axel. All right, if I didn't flew in over the rules in the dressing room, any questions on my left? Any questions on my right? If you want to touch gloves, touch gloves now and come out right and fight. Jim Axtell, a referee for this one. The closing odds, thanks to Nick Kalikas, have Anthony Smith as the favorite at minus 245. Brock Jardine closes at plus 175. You ready? Michael Chevallo, Pat Milicic with you. Here we go. Referee Jim Axtell, longtime training partner of Jeremy Horn. Guy used to bench press like 550 pounds when he was young. That guy was strong. Frankie from Smith. Chardin went for a big overhand right. Smith, nice job of leaning out of the way of it. Smith can't let him get in like this on him. He's got to stick him and keep him outside. He got him. Go to neutral corner. Put him there. Anthony, you got five minutes. You all right? Just watch the kick. It was accidental, obviously. All right, guys, let's keep it clean. Let's go. Oh, leg lock. Chardin couldn't get it. Smith trying to defend here. The butterfly guard going. Nice job moving his hips back with those feet. for a stand up from the ref. Smith hooked in his own glove. Yeah, See how he's grabbing his own glove here. for a better grip. Breaks it does Jardine. Straight back on top of him. Jardine staying after him. Keeping the pressure on. Doesn't want him to get back up. Doesn't want to get hit. Right 
by point of the opening round. Oh, oh, beautifully done. That was placement. That was footwork. And there may be a finish coming here. Nice angle step by him before he launched that. Step left, then step right, set his weight on his foot and blasted him. Jardine nowhere to go. Smith puts the hooks in, flattens him out. Well, yeah, he's in trouble. Smith unloaded. Punching his arms as hard as he can. Jardine, stuck, stuffed, done. Good night. Smith, fantastic. Yep. Very explosive guy. Beautiful technique to drop Jardine. I'm sure the folks in the truck will have that replay for us pretty soon. Let's take a look at this. Watch how he steps. Watch his footwork. Boom, digs in with on his right foot, cuts that angle, and then that long reach and explosiveness gets him to the target. Flattens him out with those hooks in. Lowers the boom on him. Impressive angles cut from Anthony Smith. And a beastly finish indeed. Here at RFA 30, on behalf of Pat Milicic, I'm Michael Chevello. 